Hi, I'm Hideo Date, jazz and blues guitarist in Berkeley, California. Today's lesson is a blues guitar lesson number 12. And if you haven't seen that uh, previous videos, please check those videos first. So we're going to talk about the, um, today we're going to talk about the uh, uh, variation of shuffle in the key of E. So let's get started with the tuning. I have been using A432 Hertz tuning from high E to low E string. Okay, so let's check with the E chord and open position. And also the G chord and open position. Okay, now uh, let me demonstrate the most basic, uh, the most basic pattern of key of E. The E7 chord, um, just place the uh, index finger on the 2nd fret A, A string and the 4th fret um, with the ring finger um, so that this going back and forth. This is a 1 bar pattern, the 2 times, and then um, I'm going to do the same on A. 2nd fret D string and the 4th fret D string with the index finger and ring finger. on E7 chord four more times to fill two bars. Then I'm going to the A chord again. And back to the E again. Now to B7 chord, um, index finger on the second fret A string and then ring finger on the fourth fret the D string. Pinky will go to um, the sixth fret, the D string, and back to the A chord. Another second fret and the fourth fret back and forth, and last the E seven chord. So the last one, the timing is a little tricky. We just cut it short here, then. 0-1-2 of A string and try to form the B7 chord. And there's another option we could do with double stop. In that case, it's just 0 open A string, 1-3-2-4 with index and ring fingers. Okay, so let's let me do it again uh, from the top. That was the most uh, basic pattern of shuffle in the key of E. So the interval is the first one, uh, index finger at the fifth of the chord, and the ring finger at the sixth of the chord, E7, and A the same way, the fifth of A, fifth of, uh, sixth of A, and the B7 the same way, the ring finger at the fifth of the chord, and the pinky is the, th the sixth of the chord. Now um, let's add the sevenths, which is the pinky playing the fifth fret for the E chord and A chord. And for the B7 chord, the pinky will reach out to the 7th fret. So you can add 
the seventh and every single time or you could do the six twice and add the sevens. The third one today, um, it's actually the just small difference, but you can add a zero zero um, on the end of four speed and play like this. So let me just go through. different string which is A and D string first E was the E and A string and then for B chord the 0 0 going to the 2 4 uh, A and D string there was another variation and also um, we could add a triplet at force beat type of notes which is two uh, three four four hammer and a two for the E chord and A chord the three four on A string and two on the D string and then back to the E and for the B five six six hammer and a four and A uh, the um, three four hammer and two for the A and the last major of the last uh, E chord, I didn't go to the, the fourth major, just played it. Shuffle. Okay, and then also when I change the chord to E to A, um, that's a kind of questionable chord. I went um, to the next, um, next note, which is the A, the right note for the A. And for the E, e chord uh, to A7 chord change, went to the, the B note, the right note for the E7 chord. So that part, that kind of thing is very flexible. So you just play by ear. Um, you can just choose one you like. Um, or, 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 you could choose one you like. Quick, uh, quick shift on your index finger if you don't do that the uh, uh, the early shift to to the E note here for the A7 chord anyway so that was a little thing so you could just add a triplet and every force uh, beat um, that's the um, the force pattern of today's shuffle and then the last one is a honky-tonk style um, the Billy Butler recorded um, this um, style in the key of F, uh, I'm sure he used the capo, but I'm not sure, uh, you know, um, it's not 100% sure, but we could do it in E.
one is started out as end of fourth beat again, and again into the one, and one and two and three and four. This type of feel, so that um, it's kind of different rhythmic feel than other. This shuffle starting on beat, but this off beat. So let me go through that. Um, this the honky tonk style, second fret and the fourth fret, and going to the next chord. It's a quick four, and back to the E, and add a pinky, and go to A. Add a pinky here and back to the E, no pinky on that one. For the B7, we play no sevens. So, all together. We have five different uh, shuffle variation today. So that was lesson number 12 today. Okay, so um, if you have learned anything from this lesson, uh, please uh, consider contributing to my channel. I have PayPal link below and I really appreciate your support. Okay, thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you again in my lesson number th 13.